Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I had to cut the video into two parts. It would have probably been three, but I didn't want to drag it out. So I just kind of made it into a two part. One, um, just showing you all of the ingredients that came into the package and then the final product. I didn't want to go into the whole preparing because it is a 40 minute cook time. So, and it actually took about just about that 40, maybe 45 minutes. So, um, as of now, everything is done. And I just wanted to come back on and show you the finished product. Um, I did taste a little bit of the soup off of the uh, chowder and it's very tasty, very tasty. The poblano has a nice mild heat to it. And um, the uh, baguette bread, I put that in the oven as directed. I melted some more butter and I drizzled it over um, the bread and then sprinkled the rest of the obey. You use half of the obey for this chowder and the other half you put it onto the baguette. So it just calls for cutting it in half, but I just cut it into quarters just to change it up a little bit. So again, yes, the chowder is complete. I want to show you what it looks like. Came out pretty tasty. You know, it calls for um, mashing up the majority of the potatoes in the chowder and then leaving a few chunks for texture. Uh, you add the corn pretty much at the end. And yeah, came out pretty nice. I'm actually very happy with this. This is something that I can see myself making again in the future. So yeah, I want to go ahead and plate up a bowl of this and uh, let you guys get a closer look at it and uh, do a little taste test with you. And uh, yeah, hopefully this may inspire you to give it a try yourself. Sprinkle a little garnish on top. And there you have it. Uh, and you can make it to the texture that you like. Theirs is a very thick consistency. I put additional water, which it calls for. It says at the end, if you do not care for it to be as thick as their chowder, you can thin it out by adding water at the end. And that's exactly what I did. So guys, here is my soup, my baguette, and my pitcher. Again, it's not as thick and creamy as theirs. Mine is a little bit more brothy, which I actually happen to love. So yeah. Guys, this is five stars. Mm. Go ahead and give yourself, try it. Give it a try, you know. Reach out to HelloFresh. You don't have to start out with big orders with ordering for seven days, five days. This particular order, I only ordered two meals. So you can start out with just two meals. It's not expensive. It's relatively cheap something different tasty and something that if you like you can make it again in the future because it, again it does come with the step-by-step -step uh, directions as well as everything that you need to purchase from the market so guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope i inspired you to uh give HelloFresh a try i'm not sponsored by any means this is just um uh, something that i like to try every now and then again something different than my regular go-to meals and um yeah i like it um this is definitely gonna go into my little um cookbook something that i will make again in the future and uh yeah leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts if you are interested again go to hellofresh.com do their little survey let them know the kind of meals you like how many people in your family and uh, then they'll do the work from there. They'll, they'll start generating and creating plans for you and sending you like an email with what is going to be in the box to come. If you see something in that box that you may not like, they give you like a window, a time frame that you can call and make some changes to your order. Um, they work with you. And uh, yeah, because they want to keep you happy. They want to keep you coming back. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, until we meet again, I have one more meal to make, so I'll probably make that next week. I'm not going to make that this week. That one is the uh, pasta with mushrooms and 
something. I'm not really sure. I can't remember what it is. Oh, let me get the card. Okay. This is the next meal that I'll be making. So that looks kind of tasty. I love pasta and I love mushrooms. So yeah. And I don't know if there's any heat in this one. I might just add my own because I don't see heat in it as far as spice. So yeah. Until we meet again. That'll be my next meal cooking with you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until we speak again, God bless and take care.